top of the glass on the road. And it's time to run it up, yeah, you know. Maxed out, put the What's up, guys? Back in the office. Uh, lots of things have arrived while I was around. Let's check them out. So I kind of pre-opened some of these boxes just to make this faster. But we have a YGE Sapphire 125 ESC for the Raw 580. A little swash leveler. We have an Ego Drift. 4025 HT 1050 motor. We've got the uh, YGE telemetry cable from Mr. Rob Cherry. Check it out. Theta 580, baby. Boom. We got some side frame covers in black and white. The matching tail fin covers. Remember that uh, MIP driver I kind of snapped? Well, got some extras of those. With that, it's time to pack this stuff up. Some extra supplies to finish the heli. Uh, soldering iron, connectors, all that stuff to get all the electronics installed. Pack it up and then hit the road again day after tomorrow and uh, keep going with the build. All right, I better get packing. Yeah, you know, yeah. Out, put the pedal to the floor. Yeah. What's up guys, here in the Atlanta airport, my uh, home airport here, on uh, leg one of the journey, headed to Dallas, Texas today. Uh, so far we're off to a good start. Somehow I got through TSA security with a V-Control Touch, two 6S LiPo batteries, two cameras each with their own LiPo batteries and piles of electronics. Oh, and an iPad and a laptop uh, without getting searched. So we're off to a good start. All right, off to Dallas. What's up guys and uh, welcome to another hotel room this time in Dallas, Texas. We got uh, everything all set and good to go here. We got the raw 580 sitting here on the bench ready to go. Uh, we've got uh, we're sort of split across a couple tables here. We got all our tools, supplies and uh, electronics good to go behind me there. Uh, so the plan here uh, for phase two, the Theta 580 build is to get all of the electronics installed here. Um, we've already got servos in, we're going to add FBL, ESC, motor, etc. Get all that wired up. Um, go all the way through the setup with the transmitter. I've got my V-Control Touch here, so we'll get pitch set up. Uh, the ESC set up and programmed, everything good to go. Uh, and then we'll shove it back in a box, uh, fly it to Salt Lake City in a couple days, and then hopefully install the boom in Salt Lake City, and if the weather cooperates, be able to knock out the maiden. That's the plan. Without further ado, it's time to get to work. Okay, so we're gonna whisper a little bit here because, you know, I'm doing stupid stuff. <laughs> so today we asked the question, can you solder in a hotel room without setting off the smoke detector? So smoke detector is in the main portion of the hotel room out here. Uh, so what we did is we set the fan on the thermostat to high so it's circulating lots of air there's a nice vent which you can't see just off camera in the ceiling up there and uh we set up a little soldering station in the bathroom we got our esc and uh motor all soldered up ready to go so uh why didn't i film any of this because i knew if i tried to record any of me soldering in the bathroom that that would be when and if the smoke alarm would go off. So now that it's done, everything's cooled off, the smoke is cleared, we're good to go. It's time to answer an age old question. Can you shrink heat shrink with a hotel hair dryer? I got a real heat gun here. We're gonna try, we're gonna set this on maximum heat. Got the three flames, maximum fan. Got our motor lead here, ready to be heat shrunk. Let's see what happens. It's gonna get loud. Survey says, kind of, not really. A little disappointing, shrank a little bit. Time to break out the big guns. Okay, that was hotel heat gun. This is real heat gun. Much, much better. first day here in Dallas. We got uh, kind of a lot done in only a few hours uh, of time we were able to grab here. So uh, we've got our YGE Sapphire 125 ESC installed. We've got our Ego Drift Beta uh, 4025 HT 1050 KV, which should uh, put the RPMs in the perfect range I'm going for, which is about uh, 
1700 to 2100 for me on a 550, uh, 580. Um, we've got all of our wiring done. Let's flip this around here in the channel, all nice and buttoned up. So running down from here to the back, and then we've got a snarling mess of servo wires. Uh, the hope is to get the FBL in tomorrow, and then all of our pitch setup and uh, FBL setup done. Basically everything but the tail boom, and then shove it back in a box. All right. It is uh, night two here in Dallas. We've got our ESC mounted, all of our wiring done, our FBLs in. Servos are all done. Basically, all the electronics are good to go. I've gone ahead and leveled the swash with the uh, SAB swash leveling tool. Uh, so that's done. So all I have left to do is uh, strap some blades on this uh, half a helicopter. And uh, we'll go ahead and get the pitch set up done. And then I'm going to stick it back in a box, ship it to Salt Lake City with me on the next airplane uh, in a day. And uh, we'll do final assembly there and hopefully uh, get a flight in. We'll see. Okay, so quick interruption here. Uh, a few folks have been reaching out to me via messages, which thank you for doing so, uh, and asked me how I'm transporting all of this stuff. So, uh, the main body of the helicopter just fits intact as is on its side inside one of my uh, Pelican cases, or it's actually a Nanook style case from Amazon. Uh, and this is a plastic tube available for transporting generally large printouts, usually of like building plans or architect drawings. Uh, it is adjustable in size. To a variety of lengths, two to three feet. And what I have in here right now is the boom, which I'm not going to take out, and the blades happen to fit here perfectly. And this whole tube, although you could carry it on the airplane presumably without trouble, uh, I actually stick it. I have a large rolling duffel suitcase bag. So I just throw this in there, and uh, that's where all that's living. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the blades bolted on here and uh, set the pitch. Okay, with the pitch all set up, the last thing to do was to pack it right back in the case it ships with and head into work for our last day in Dallas. What's up guys? Just checking in from work for a second. I'm here at the home of the Texas Rangers, uh, working on directing a show. Uh, this is why I uh, travel all over the country, uh, working on shows in venues across America. And that's why I'm building a helicopter in a hotel room, because I've been back to back, show to show to show, now that uh, live events are coming back. All right, back to work. Long night in Dallas last night, early morning flight to uh, Salt Lake City, worked all day, and uh, now it's time to finish this sucker, so uh, let's uh, get going. Right, with that, the RAW 580, the Theta 580, is good to go. I went ahead and got the boom mounted, We've got our tail rotor in, tail belt tension set, um, Finishing details, uh, center of gravity, all that stuff checked. Um, done our pitch setup, all that stuff's done and good to go. At this point, there's nothing left to do but maiden it. Uh, here in Salt Lake City, the weather is atrocious this week. Uh, about the warmest it's gonna get it is 33 degrees. Uh, it's snow in most days to some degree, hopefully just flurries in the morning. But tomorrow morning's supposed to be light winds, snow flurries, uh, and I'm gonna give it a go and see what happens. So I got a pack charged. Uh, it's too cold to fly more than one pack, but uh, Seems like if you're gonna build a helicopter in a hotel room, you should maiden it while you're on the on the road. So uh, that's the plan. Wish me luck, and uh, I'll catch you in a second from the field. Good morning from uh, freezing cold Salt Lake City. The RAW 580 is uh, ready to go. It's maiden day. I'm here at the Salt Lake City Model Airport, up by the landfill. Uh, not the nicest spot if you look the other direction, but. Uh, I don't know if you can see it through the clouds, but the mountain view is gorgeous. So, it's uh, about 30 degrees, blowing five to eight miles an hour. So, uh, it's as good as we're gonna get this week. It's my only shot, the sun's just coming up right now. Gotta be at work in about an hour, so, uh, we have to waste time, let's do it. Good thing I'm the only one here, because damn, I look like a dork with this thing on my head. All right, it's maiden day. Ellie's down, just walking out front, getting ready to lift it off the ground. That tense moment where you don't know, are all the directions going the right way, are the corrections going the right way? When I give it left aileron, is it going to go right? <laughs> no matter how many times you check those things, that feeling of uh, spooling up the heli for the first time is always fun. But here it is, we're in the air, uh, no issues there, 
So, this is a pretty boring maiden fight. I'm not going to lie. All the editing in the world can't make this interesting. So, we'll just add a couple little things here. So, you know, first we're just kind of checking it out, seeing how it's doing, how's the tail behaving initially with just some basic circuits. And then, uh... The next thing we do here in just a moment is uh, go into some heroes just to kind of see how we're doing, how levels are swash, and I was thrilled. I mean, this thing just parks right there in the sky, even with the five mile an hour wind, and it just doesn't move. Um, so I was pretty happy with that. You know, some couple basic flips and things and some rolls a little later on, just kind of checking things out. My fingers were already numb at this point, so it was kind of like one of those last flights of the day where you're really just trying to discharge that last pack. And, you're just not happy to be out flying because you're freezing. Um, so, here's a few more odds and ends. Uh, I did try out a couple of head speeds. Most of the flight here is a 1700 RPM. Did a little bit at 1900. Here you can see as the heli backs up, there's just a tiny bit of a tail wag. Uh, it's a slow wag. It's not a big deal. I don't think it's mechanical. Uh, it just needs a little tune. But honestly, on an SAB heli especially, I, I like to fly it for a few flights, let the tail kind of wear in, and then start tuning, uh, and probably once I get it back to the warmth of Atlanta as well, um, but it's not bad at all. Um, here's at 1900 RPM, and it's interesting, I put just a, a tiny little bit of lightness in the uh, V-Bar Neo, and uh, it's way too much, and I think it's only at 8, and it doesn't need it at all. Uh, I did some basic flips at the higher RPMs, and it just launches into the sky. There's one coming up here in a second at 1900. Uh, right around here, and it just goes, whoa, screaming way up. So, uh, got to pull that lightness out. Um, but, you know, again, very happy with the flight in general. Um, was just happy to uh, get out of the cold when it was done here, and uh, just coming in to land here in a second. After just a little bit more shenanigans, waiting for the... Uh, V-Bar to tell me it's time to land, and here we go. A successful maiden. Thrilled, you know, after all that work, packing it in and out of boxes, on and off of airplanes. And uh, here I am to share a couple thoughts with the camera. Six minutes on that flight. Successful maiden, raw 580, built-in hotel rooms, flown for the first time on the road here in Salt Lake City. Loving every minute of it. I'm freezing, I'm getting back in the car. Thanks for uh, following along on this uh, crazy little journey. Got to take that beauty shot for uh, the hangout. And then here's the maiden day smiles. Got to love it. All right, over to you, Nick. All right, so I'm back in my hotel room now where it is much warmer than where I did the maiden this morning. Just want to share a couple quick thoughts, man. Uh, it flew great. I only had one pack with me, so it was kind of a quick maiden. Um, variety of head speeds from 1700 to 2100, which is kind of my wheelhouse on a heli that size. Um, Flew great. I mean, the tail, I haven't done any tuning to it. The tail felt really locked in, you know, certainly uh, not chattering or anything. Tiny bit of real slow tail wag that I got to tune out, um, but that shouldn't take too much effort. But uh, it was a great maiden. I mean, it flew great. A um, couple little things I need to, to tweak. I'm super happy, honestly. It was fun, kind of a fun project to build it on the road in hotel rooms. You know, I travel a ton and it would have just sat in the box for three months until uh, April when I could have gotten to it. So, uh, you know, do I want to build all my alleys this way? No, it's not the most fun having to pack and unpack, but uh, thanks for coming along on the journey with me. Uh, I appreciate uh, all the comments, uh, questions, and messages I've gotten about how to do the same thing, and uh, keep them coming. Anyway, we'll uh, catch you in the next Theta 580 video. That'll be uh, not until sometime in April when I, I'm home long enough to refinish the canopy. I've got a custom scheme, some decals from uh, Boylock planned and uh, some cool ideas for that. So that'll complete the alley, but for now, super happy with it. Thanks for watching. Here we go, at the top of the class on a roll. And it's time to run it up, yeah, you know. Maxed out, put the pedal to the floor.